It can be quite frustrating at the start of our healing journey or self-cultivation journey to be told by books and gurus that letting go and surrendering is what we should be doing only to be confronted with our lack of capacity to do so in the face of life situations that hit us where it hurts or memories that we can't let go of. This channel is Meditation Amsterdam. My name is Pablo. And today we get to talk about some of the factors that can help in cultivating our ability to let go and how letting go and surrender are trainable capacities that can be systematically increased so that we can then use that capacity for cleaning up our neurophysiology and get to a better place. So to start with, we have the obvious stuff. And sometimes even the obvious stuff is not that obvious, but we're talking about health, your finances and your relationships. And I want to start with those because it's been a bit of a theme this week uh, in the channel to call for uh, groundedness and uh, staying in touch with reality and with basic human needs, which cannot and should not be ignored. Um, we do so at our peril, um, even if we understand that we are one with everything or that only the mind uh, is um, uh, primal and uh, nothing else really exists. Uh, until those realizations are truly lived and can be accessed and difficult events and situations wash off us like water off a duck's back, then we're better off really having those uh, pillars of our life in place. There was someone commenting on a video the other day saying that as they achieved a few more things in life on a financial, perhaps romantic and, and, and physical basis, that they found themselves just feeling generally more sure-footed sure and uh, stable. And um, this makes it so that events that would otherwise destabilize you can be put in a bigger context where you have a life that is very well uh, contained and, uh, and wholesome. And having dispatched with those sort of normal levels, which are in and of themselves sometimes difficult to achieve before because of the underlying trauma and difficulties that we face. Then we go on to the more um, cultivation practice type of uh, angles. One of the things that makes it easier to let go is if we have a good degree of psychosomatic groundedness. I've talked about grounding in previous videos. I've uh, talked about techniques such as standing Qigong um, and embodiment as important practices that can help us feel that we are grounded in our own bodies and that the body is grounded onto whatever surface is resting on, whether it's a chair, the floor, a bed, you name it. So that kind of tethering to physicality makes it so that we tend to spin less into the thought space in our heads, which uh, if you uh, can relate to it, can spin in endless uh, circles and present all kinds of dilemmas um, and create rabbit holes that never land us anywhere, which make it very difficult to let go. So let go when you are grounded in the body can become a very embodied uh, task or a very embodied affair. And you can in fact let go with the body and surrender with the body, sometimes easier than you can surrender with the mind and with thought. Another aspect that makes it easier to let go is if you have cultivated an increased capacity to self-regulate via uh, training of your breath, for example, and exposing yourself to um, consistent and progressively higher doses of uh, stresses, which could be uh, physical, they could be emotional, they could be financial, potentially, or intellectual. Um, Anything that will keep you engaged and challenged in a level that is, uh, on the one hand, not so easy that you don't engage, 
but also not so difficult that it um, overtakes your capacity to transform and learn from the experience. So if you're constantly engaged on a Goldilocks zone of healthy, challenging stress of the kinds I just mentioned, your capacity to self-regulate also is higher. And not only that, but you build a repertoire of healthy responses, all of which create this uh, perceived capacity to adapt, to face and to uh, tackle situations. They add up to the willingness to face more and to be less uh, disassociated and more engaged. And uh, as we engage more, um, we have an innate capacity or rather we do so through an innate capacity of knowing that we can let go and self-regulate. So self-regulation and life experience um, have a um, big effect on our capacity to let go. Additionally to that, we have uh, pure emotional work and the clearing out of um, trauma and psychosomatic disconnections or knots in our system. And some of these might be inherited, some of them might be um, situational or um, developmental. But whatever the case may be, situations that would otherwise be neutral become problematic and difficult to let go of if they are related to some of the deeper uh, wounds that we carry among our, uh, within ourselves, such as um, the need for uh, or the feeling lack of um, love, recognition, safety, and um, the kind of more primal and, and basic uh, needs that we have uh, in the heart, essentially. So being clear of those, make it so that we can feel pain when something undesirable happens, but that pain can be fully felt, fully metabolized or processed, and therefore we can let go of it. If on the other hand, the pain hits an unresolved trauma inside, um, it's going to uh, create a lot of distress and we will um, be now in a kind of wrestling match with the event because it hit us into an area of ourselves that is not properly resolved and not properly understood. So um, now trauma uh, resolution, self-regulation techniques, grounding techniques, and the desire or the practice of keeping ourselves uh, into activities that are engaging and challenging are all practices and orientations which have the effect of increasing our capacity and cultivating our capacity for letting go. And therefore letting go is more of an outcome of some of these elements being in place rather than something that you try to do in a vacuum or out of the blue where many of these elements might not be what they need to be, in which case letting go becomes a real battle and can even add uh, more stress to the situation and make it even stickier than it already is. The good news is all these things can be cultivated. Letting go is a capacity that can be cultivated and increased and therefore um, is something that is, um, uh, I wouldn't say within our control, but definitely within our uh, sphere of influence. And uh, therefore, as usual, I would invite uh, people watching this to engage in the kind of cultivation practices and, and healing uh, modalities that could help you uh, create the space in which letting go becomes a trait for you. I'm very curious about your comments for this one, so do share them in the comment section. And as usual, if you think that this is content that others can benefit from, then your liking, your sharing and subscribing help the channel become more accessible. And it's also very motivating to me and I'll be back with more videos pretty soon. And until then, cheerio, thanks for listening and bye-bye.